happening guys? My name is Jamie. Today, today we are reviewing Amaram's new album, Manifest. I've been looking forward to this album for many years now. I, I remember I commented on Amaram's uh, post. When is the next album uh, after Helix was just released? I got a few replies saying, so I've been pretty excited for Manifest. You know what? I absolutely adore Amaranth. I love their music. I love the fusion of metal, pop, and I think they are such an awesome band. So what did I think about Manifest? As you know, I am a, I am a fan of Amaranth. I love all their music. Like, I love the Nexus. Nexus is probably my favorite album. Massive Addictive and Maximalism. And then we had Helix. Now, Helix was a very different album by Amaranth. I just loved how dynamic that album felt. And it was one of the best albums by Amaranth. On this album, they decided to do something just slightly a little bit different. They decided to just slightly experiment by adding more electronic elements and a lot more electronic elements and maybe turn up the reduction just a little bit and making this album Lifeless Manifest by Amaranth. I don't enjoy this album. There are some good moments on this album, but by far this is their weakest album. I don't care what anyone says. A lot of people were saying in their reviews that this is the best Amaranth album. Well, I totally disagree. Obviously the fuckers haven't heard Nexus or Amaranth or even fucking Massive Addictive or even fucking Helix. This is their worst album. I feel that these songs, some of these songs are fillers. So it starts off with Fearless, which is a high octane song, incorporating more electronic elements and some really nice guitar grooves as well. I do love Elise Rye's vocals on this on this song, not to mention Neil chimes in as well. And we get Onrik's amazing, incredible vocal performance. This starts off pretty well. The album starts pretty well, and I actually really enjoy Fearless. We get Make It Better, Scream My Name, which in my opinion are filler songs. They're just songs that actually don't go anywhere. It just seems like it's the same repetitive, repetitive moments over and over again, and it just gets repetitive. We lead on to Viral, which is the best song of the album. I just love how catchy this song is, and there are some really nice dynamic moments. You get a mix of metal, you get a mix of pop, and this is a classic Amaranth song. It's a classic modern day Amaranth song. We lead on to Adrenaline, a much more high octane energetic song. But what is very interesting, throughout the next few songs, the, album's real, the album really becomes melancholic. Then we get Strong, which is a collaboration with Nora Lahimo. Um, and her vocals are fantastic. I love the harmonization between the least rides. Uh, one of the best songs of the album, which is Crystalline. Now this is a ballad. And I really love Elise's vocals on this song. I love the duo vocal performance. Overall, I just feel like that they are trying to replicate Amaranthine, which is another amazing song. I absolutely love Amaranthine, except it's a lot more lighter, Crystalline is. So overall, that's a pretty good song. I just love the atmosphere on this song, Crystalline. It's one of my favorite songs by this band. And overall, it just makes me feel quite happy listening to this, to this song. I just love how sad this song is. Leads on to Archangel, which is probably the most heaviest Amaranth song off the album. I love the gritty guitar riffs, I love the chorus, and I just love the overall structure of this song. We get Boom. Now Boom is, um, yeah, Boom. I'm not really digging this post-hardcore new metal sound by Amaranth. Onrik actually raps on this song, actually raps in this song, and Neil provides some good vocals, and Elise, again, is, as always, fantastic. Post-hardcore breakdowns as well, which doesn't really do much for me. Certainly, this is a really fun song by this band, but it doesn't really do much for me. And and so do the, the next song doesn't do much for me as well, Die and Wake Up. Do, do love the riffages throughout that song, but then we get Do or Die, which is an okay song. But overall, this album just lacks it and it lacks a lot of dynamics. They tried something different. Helix was a winner in my opinion. It was a fucking winner and maybe they should have followed that format. These songs were a lot heavier, were a lot grittier on Helix. Go to Manifest, it's a whole different ball game and I just feel the production is to blame. Drums at times feel quite mechanical where it may be overprocessed in my opinion. The guitars at times have a very different tone and overall, there's way too many electronic elements. I mean, it's quite annoying at times, especially on heavy songs like Boom and Archangel. So in all honesty, for Amaranth Manifest, 
I didn't quite enjoy this album. I love all the albums except this one, and this is the weakest album, in my opinion. A lot of people giving it eight or nine. Fuck it, I'm giving a four out of ten. This is the worst Amaranth album. I absolutely love Amaranth, and I love you, Elise, and I love you, Onrek, and I love you, Nils, and everyone, but I just feel that this is your weakest album, and no harsh feelings, but I didn't enjoy this album. I wasn't feeling it, and I gotta be brutally honest in my reviews. I wasn't feeling this album, and it doesn't make my top 10 September albums. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, so I wasn't feeling it. I think the production really let this album down and it became quite lifeless This feels like a lifeless album surely I'm around for having fun But it just doesn't, doesn't translate to me doesn't translate to me like Helix ever having so much fucking fun the production conveyed that fun the production on this didn't convey that fun and Yeah, so four out of fucking ten it gets so come below what you thought about this album, and do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Am I the only one that isn't feeling this album? Am I the only one? Or do I have some people agreeing with me? Because a lot of people are saying this is their best album. Yeah, now nah, man, get in the fucking bin. The worst fucking album by Amaranth. I will see you in the next one.